Hey everyone, I know, I know, you're probably wondering what does this have to do with fragrance? But as always, bear with me. The most relaxing scent. And guess what that is? It's the scent of fresh cut grass. Now, at least in my mind, the scent of fresh cut grass is a very pleasant one. As you take in the molecules through your nose that are small enough to travel in the air, uh, the scent can be described as earthy and sweet in aroma. A couple of years ago, a scientist in Australia found that the molecules that are being released while cutting grass have a profound impact on our neofrontal cortex, especially on our fight or flight reflex. They have a calming and stress relieving effect on our nervous system. And so I find it interesting that it's not only the childhood memories that one may have of running around on a grass field or rolling down a grassy hill, but also the profound impact on our sleep cycle and like I said, stress response, mood and others. In fact, the researchers were so surprised by the significance of the effect on our system that they decided to release a scent. I looked it up, I was going to order it, but it's like 17 bucks for the scent. I believe $21 to ship it. And to be quite honest with you, I wanted to get this video out, so I didn't want to wait. So we all know how cut grass smells. I just found it interesting that they were uh, so convinced of their findings that they actually released the scent. Uh, other houses also released the scent. The House of Gap, believe it or not, in the 90s released the scent called Grass. And I think I saw a couple of others as well. If you go to the forums, you can definitely see people asking the question, which fragrance smells like grass. So there is definitely interest. However, the reason why the grass gives off that scent, it's actually quite frightening. If you want to think about it, it's actually a cry for help. The grass is releasing those molecules for two reasons. Number one, obviously to try it and heal itself. And the other one from an evolutionary perspective, it's giving off a scent that attracts predators that might eat the bugs that are currently consuming the grass. I don't think the grass has evolved in the last hundred years or so to know that it's actually just a lawnmower that's being driven over it. I think that's enough with the grass. I know this was a little bit of a different video, but I am very interested in that field. I like the idea that we're surrounded by amazing scents and sometimes not that amazing as well. I want to explore what type of effects it has on us and how we can learn about it and implement our knowledge to design our environment the way we want. Just creating an environment that makes you sleep better, work better, only concentrating on how fragrances can give you compliments. Feels a little bit like some wasted potential. Sure, it's fun and it's great and I encourage everybody to give others a reason to talk to you when uh, you put on that amazing fragrance. However, let's go back to the basics and let's realize that the sense of smell has a lot more potential than just flirting. With that being said, thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next video. This is what that has to do with fragrance. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.